We call the cops again because they still didn't come because Philadelphia Police Department fucking sucks asshole. They really do. I mean, to, I mean to be quite honest, I don't, it should, if, if if there's a domestic, it shouldn't take you hours. I I cannot stand living in the city. I just want to be very clear. I cannot stand living in the city. There's no way if I'm telling you it's a domestic, if I'm telling you somebody's robbing me, if I'm telling you I'm in danger and you're going to still take hours to come to my fucking house, that's crazy. But that's what they do, and that's what they did. So. Hello everyone, this is Miss D with the Sides of It podcast. How are you today? I am hoping you're all right. Big shout out to the fact that we don't have to look how we feel. I'm not saying I'm beat to the gods or nothing, but I'm going through some shit. Okay. Life is kicking my ass. Life got me by the hair, uppercutting me, dragging me down broad street. Yes, life is whooping my ass, but I am here and I'm dedicated to my craft and I'm staying on path and I am here. Hello. So today we are going to be talking about karma. Okay, and I just discovered this song. I don't know how old it is, honestly, but I just discovered this song by Summer Walker. The song is called Karma, and the hook goes something like this. She says, nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I'm just here to do my job. Nice to meet you. No running, please don't fear me. I'm just karma. Let me dance for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I won't continue. Because <laughs> I'm not a singer. I will not continue, but... Yeah, I really like that song. Like, I just like the melody, I think. And I kind of like, you know, the whole aspect of her saying, like, hey, you've done some bitches wrong in the past. So here I am getting the lick back for them. And I'm going to F you over, I guess. Um, I don't do that. And the reason I don't do that is because I believe, giving, I believe in getting my own lick back. Um... I'm not out here giving up, giving it up for free. My licks be licking. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, <laughs> I mean, I agree, but then I don't agree. And we're going to get into that, obviously, in this episode. I'm going to say in the beginning, if you like anything you hear during this episode or you agree, you know, if you agree with anything you hear in this episode, or you've been through it, you can relate, like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that. And I would greatly appreciate it because I'm trying to be consistent and I'm trying to do what I have to do, dedicated to the craft. So, yes, like, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. All right. Um. So really quick, what is karma? Right. As I had a little research. I did a little research. I'm trying to talk a little slower, too, because I feel like I'd be talking fast as F. Um, but I did do some research before I started this show today. Um, I'm trying to do a little bit more research as time goes on because y'all be coming for me in them comments. And that's crazy. I just had somebody say to me today that, oh, you do, um, reading is fundamental. Because grammatically, you know, whatever he was saying about my grammar. Um, and I was thinking to myself, I listened to my clip because, you know, I do a lot of clips. I was like, I don't know what he's talking about. Because naturally, you guys already know. I'm grammatically inclined and naturally intelligent. So I don't know what he's talking about. But, you know, I'm going to let him rock. Because at least he commented. At least he commented. A view was a view. And a win is a win. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Anyway, so I was doing my research. And what I found out was that 
karma is a cause and effect thing and i guess a lot of people have it misconstrued like exactly what karma is but what i perceive karma to be is a cause and effect thing i believe if you put bullshit out in the universe the universe is going to come and get their lick back so karma to me is like the universe's lick back do you get what i'm saying so it's like i mean do you need me to go into detail if you fucking over women or men left and right you're using people you're doing this you're doing that it's going to be done to you in some way somehow when you least expect it it's going to come back to you um so i really 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 personally try to keep i don't even know what chakras is for real for real but whatever they is i know you need to keep them aligned so keep my chakras aligned, whatever the fuck that means, um, and keep things in balance. I don't want to do anything that's fucked up. I don't want to go out of my way to piss anyone off. I don't want to go out of my way to be a fucked up person. It's very important to me, actually. Um, it's really just not a, even a part of my, like, it's not what I want to give. You know what I'm saying? It's not what the legacy I want to leave. That's not the taste in people's mouth that I want to leave. So, yeah, I just try to keep it, you know, cool as much as i can but people be trying me to be honest they really do i can't people be trying me seriously it's like i i have this nice heart i want to give my love language is gift giving i'm very nice i think for the most part okay i'm not 100 percent nice okay but you know time has done that to me so no i'm not 100 percent nice I could be nicer because every time somebody walks up to me on the street or if I don't know you, my first thought is like, I can't figure why are you talking to me? I always, every time, every time, why are you talking to me? I don't want to talk to you. I want to just go into this Walmart, get what I have to get, minimum conversation, minimum interaction with the outside world and, and go. That's what I want. Everywhere I go, that's my dream. That's my dream. If I could just go to the giant, pick up a few things, and the only reason I have to talk to anyone is maybe if I need help with the machine or something, or I need help finding something, and then like that's it. Don't don't stop me. I don't ha I don't know nothing. I don't know where anything is. I have no directions. I don't know how much it it costs to park. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I don't even know how my hair. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. I have no idea. Even if I do know, I don't know because I just don't want to talk to you, honestly. Yeah, so I'm an asshole. So we, we already, dis, you know, discussed that. Um, but that's, I think that's where, like, all my karma comes from. When I do get my karma, it's just being an asshole on the daily. Because I could just be like, oh, hi, yeah. I just, I don't have it in me. <laughs> I don't have it in me. A small talk for what? If we're not talking big things. I don't know what we talking about. <laughs> you want a small talk with me? I don't want to know how your mother is. I really don't. I don't want to know where you got your bag from. I want to know what school your kids go to. I don't know. I don't want to know what breed your dog is. Like, please, like, don't volunteer any information or conversation to me. If you ever do see me in public, outside. I don't even ex just like I don't exist. I would greatly appreciate it. Please don't talk to me. <laughs> Please don't talk to me. I don't you ever. <laughs> it's like it's like sometimes I'll be really going outside as if I have an invisible cloak on. Like like okay, nobody's gonna see me. Nobody's gonna see me. If I don't look at these people in the eye, they're not gonna look at me. And then everything's gonna be fine. They're not gonna talk to me. I don't look at them in the eye. You know, because everybody always compliments me. Oh, my gosh, your eyes are so symmetrical. They're piercing. They're beautiful. I don't want to I don't want to lock eyes with you. I don't need you to come. I don't want to do it. Nothing. Uh, nothing. So that's probably where, where all my karma comes from. <laughs> um, but I try not to go out of my way to, like, really fuck anybody over. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't try to do anything mean to children or to animals obviously to just regular people i just i have trust issues so i don't know 
if I ever hurt anyone, I think it would probably be like an unintentional or it probably was intentional. If I like, it probably was intentional. Like, think about that for a second. If it was not unintentional, unintentional, <laughs> here we go with unintentional. If it was not unintentional, it probably was intentional because you did something to me and I'm getting that lick back. Um, but karma is my friend for real, for real. One time, I was in truck driving school. I don't know if I told this story yet, but I'm telling it right now. One time I was in truck driving school, and there was a woman who liked other women. That's not important, but just for people who know, kind of, you know, give you some specifics there. There's a woman there, and one day she just got mad at me. I mean, she was really gravitating towards me. I was teaching her stuff. Everything we was like pretty cool, I guess. I think we we're it was like about three African American women in the class, um, and her and I kind of linked up because the other one she just looked at very, she looked very stank. You ever meet a black woman and she looks stank, and you just kind of like, mm -mm, I don't even want to bother with that. Yeah, that's how she looked. I feel like that's how I look to some people. But I like that because I don't want you to talk to me. Hello, it all works out. But, um, yeah, so she just looked very stink. Looked very stink. Um, so I was like, let me just talk to the other girl. Anyway, fast forward. Um, so, yeah, this girl one day, we were in a room in her dorm, I guess, her room. We, you know, in trucking school, they put you guys in a hotel. So we was in her room and... We, were, we was with another guy, a, a guy or whatever. Apparently, this woman who liked other women liked me too. And I think she felt rejection from me. And I think that someone made her like turn and flip out on me. And then the guy that was in there too, he also had a crush on me. Don't ask me. I think I'm a seven on a good day. So I have no idea why these people be wanting me. Then again, I could have just been what they thought was available at the time. I don't know. Point is, um, she was telling people around the school that she wanted to hunch. And obviously, Miss D is straight as an arrow. So, I didn't know what to tell her. Um, but, moving right along with the story, we were in a room talking about just random stuff. And for some reason, um, they were talking about getting their asses ate. And, yes, the man was talking about getting his ass ate. And they were upset with me because I said, I do not enjoy such activity. I don't think it's pleasurable for me. And so then they proceeded to talk shit to me and tell me I don't know how to have intercourse. I'm no fun. All this shit just because I don't like to get my booty hole licked. So that was interesting. It was an interesting conversation. Um, but yes, I was judged. I was booty licked shamed for not liking it. Then the guy proceeded to call a woman on the phone. I think it was probably about midnight or so, 11 p.m. I don't know. It was, it was late. But he proceeded to call a woman on the phone and told us to be quiet and said, hey, when you going to lick this ass again? And she was like, mm hmm. He was like, you going to lick this ass? She's like, mm hmm. Then when you going to lick this ass next time I see you? And he just thought it was magical. He just thought it was a good time. That was crazy. Um, all of the story. Um, so yeah, it just got like a little aggressive, like as the night progressed, I guess. Um, and it went from like talking shit to me about not like in my ass and to now just just talking about me in general, like just just talking shit to me, roasting me, I guess. Roasting on me, roasting me, busting on me, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I just kind of took it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really respond. I didn't say, bitch, you ugly too. I didn't say nothing. You know what I mean? I didn't really respond much. Um, but I took it for like an hour. I don't know why I did that. I was, I think I was, I was in the process of going through a mental breakdown at the time. Um, and I don't think I was in my right mind. But I feel like that was good that I wasn't in my right mind because I, was, I probably would have flipped the fuck out. But 
I didn't say anything back. I kind of just listened to her, kind of just gave her the head nod the whole time. Like, oh, okay. You know, I'm just, I was just actually grateful to see her true colors, honestly, because it was like, you were in my face this whole time. We were studying. I'm teaching you a lot of stuff. You don't really know shit. So I'm kind of like your crutch a little bit. And here you are. This is how you really feel. So, all right. Um, so when it was time to take the truck driving, you know, um, the road test for, you know, truck driving school, I passed on the first time. It took her a couple times. I heard it took her friends a couple times. I heard because why? Like, please, with the bullshit. Um, but the I guess the enjoyment for me or the 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 enlightenment for me, what I got out of it is that the fact that <clears throat> this is going to sound evil, but I don't really give a shit. But it's karma. I guess like a few weeks later or a couple months later after we got our, our CDLs, she flipped the truck over. And, you know, a rollover. Um, I talked about that a couple episodes ago. What a rollover is. Once once more, I'll explain what a rollover is. A rollover is when you're in a truck. Um, the, trucks are, the trucks are top heavy. So you can't hit curves or turns too hard. Um or you know you can't um, unlevel the truck in any way like say go on a, a ditch or off a median or whatever because it'll tip the truck over basically like i said the top of the truck is on the ground and the under the truck is you know upside down trucks upside down um but yeah she she did a rollover and i was shocked when i first heard the news from my peer um but then I was kind of like, ooh, hmm, interesting how that happened. I mean, it's interesting, like the universe, I mean, the energy you put out there, bro, I swear, because they say whatever goes up must come down. That's kind of how karma works. That's crazy. But yeah, I enjoyed that. And not to be like such an asshole or anything. But yeah, I enjoyed that because it was like, you really, you don't know what someone's going through. I always encourage people like you should be kind to people because you never know what they're going through. Um, and at that time, I was going through an emotional situation, a mental freaking breakdown. And during my mental breakdown, I actually went to truck driving school. Not a lot of people can do that. That's crazy to like go for something like that and then, and then excel at it and succeed while you're not mentally right and then in the process of that you have this girl trying to break me down more and tarnish you know whatever mental freaking capacity that i have the time to spare for that day you just try to tear it down and for what because i don't like my ass hey, that was weird that's weird so yeah when i heard that she didn't pass the first time and all that and she had to keep taking it over um and when i heard that the truck flipped over i was elated because sometimes you don't have to do anything um and that's how i use karma to my benefit i believe i like karma karma is my friend my friend karma um sometimes you are done wrong and you don't have to stoop to that person's level and you don't have to get your lick back and sometimes you know what i'm saying you don't have to do anything and sh and karma She's going to come through every time and take care of it. And then the best thing that I love about karma is not only will she take care of it for me, she will then pre present it before my eyes in some way, shape or form. That could be through hearsay, that could be by news, that could be in my face, whatever. It's going to be presented to me that, you know, this person got what, what was coming to them. <laughs> so I say all that to say like um, today's message you don't always have to be the karma because karma is an evident I think evident karma is she will always come is what I'm trying to say okay these words I can't um but she will always come through whether you want her to or not, whether you need her to or not, because what goes up must come down. And what, what did they say? What you sow, do as you, whatever. You sow what you reap, basically. You reap what you sow. There you go. 
<laughs> it's some fancy way to say it as you sow do you reap some shit like that but you reap what you sow um in in, in layman's term and sometimes if you're going through something right now and somebody's doing you shitty like somebody's doing me shitty right now lord knows they've been doing me shitty all year like i said um but if somebody's doing you shitty right now um you don't always have to get out of character to get them back sometimes you can let that go sometimes you can you know what i'm saying you can kind of like be okay with letting it go um i got one more story before i, I wrap today's episode up um so <laughs> sorry this is still a little traumatizing for me but i'm going to talk about it um hello everyone miss d here um with sides of it podcast i am here in the middle of this episode to let you know that a part of this episode is available exclusively on patreon i have spoken to you guys about it before the link to the patreon will be available in the description of this video hopefully you guys subscribe part of this um video will be on patreon is for sensitive material you know some secret revealing going on some storytelling that's a little personal to me so i want to just offer that to my true fans or the viewers or supporters whatever you want to call it so once again a part of this video is available exclusively on patreon um and so it's been cut and edited to support that and we are going to resume the ending of this video um right after this announcement so back to the ending of the video one of the things he said on the phone to me was this is your karma for somebody you did something in the world somewhere and this is your karma and i'm here to give it to you basically that's what he said um and you know i'm like what and he's like yeah this is your karma. i'm just and so the the song versus what he said i don't i do not believe that people should go around giving karma which is hard for me because i like they say uh, the most vengeful person or whatever i believe in revenge i believe in eye for an eye but i don't believe you should blatantly do shit to people and then say weird shit like this is your karma for something you've you've done in life and here it is that's fucking weird and i don't recommend that um but yeah I assume I'm going to put this story on Patreon. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm deciding right freaking now. But I'm sure I'm going to put this story on Patreon because it gets a little little deep, a little personal, a little detail-y. Um, so I'm going to put the story on Patreon. It is available. I will put the link, you know, here. I will link it in all my social media, which I haven't done yet. I don't know why, but I will. I will link my Patreon in the social media. I'm actually going to lower the price, the the starting price. It's $5 right now. I want to lower that a little bit because I just want to make sure that it's affordable and everything. I mean, $5 ain't nothing anyway, but yeah, I'm probably going to lower it to like three, you know, because I'm, I'm still new. So I want to make sure that I'm being fair, I guess. And then when I get bigger, maybe we go back up to five. Um, so yeah, I'm going to link my Patreon, so on and so forth. If you have any questions about the story, hit me up on Patreon because, you know, that's where the story will be. Um, and thank you guys for tuning into this week's episode of Sides of It Podcast. Once again, if you enjoy the story, if you learned something, if you like what you heard, if you agree, if you relate, please like, follow, share. I'm sorry, like, comment, subscribe and share and like and follow my other pages and everything um you can find me on youtube obviously twitter um facebook instagram i'm sorry twitter's called x now i keep forgetting that facebook um instagram i really forget. oh tiktok um at size of a pod it's the same everywhere at size of a pod um i believe it's like that on patreon it's, as well um and once again thank you guys for tuning into this week's episode i hope you enjoyed and remember do not go out there trying to get karma yourself let the universe do its job
Bye.